Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Clark here. Today, we are going to start off by solving an open response question, and we're going to be writing some number stories. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that I would like you to do is to get your math journal book out, open it up to page 31, page 31, and I would like you to do problem number one. Go ahead. If you need to pause the video so that you can get your book out and do problem one, go ahead and pause the video now. Page 31 says, write a number model for this number story. The number story says, Jessica has two dogs and eight goldfish. How many pets does she have in all? Hmm. What number model did you come up with? Did you come up with the number model of two plus eight equals 10? That sounds about right to me. I see that that is the order of the story. Jessica has two dogs and eight goldfish. How many pets does she have in all? And I remembered that the words in all means to add. So this number model makes sense. Did any of you write a different number model? Did any of you maybe write this number model? Eight plus two equals 10. Did any of you do that? Can we write the number model this way too? Yes, we can. Why? Why can we write our number model this way and this way? Well, it's because this number model is the turnaround rule and it says that both number models have the same sum. Two plus eight equals 10. The turnaround for this number model would be eight plus two equals 10. The sum or the answer to an adding problem is exactly the same. Both of the answers are 10. I wrote out a new story but this new story might seem very similar to the story you just read in your math book. This story says, Jessica has eight goldfish and two dogs. How many pets in all? Boys and girls, this number story is demonstrating the turnaround rule. Before, I said that Jessica had two dogs and eight goldfish. All I did was switch the information to turn it around. Does this number story still make sense? Yes, it does, doesn't it? I can see she's got eight goldfish and two dogs. I know that I'm going to add these two numbers together to find out how many pets she has in all. So yes, it still makes sense. Is the total number the same or is it different? You're right, it's the same. The sum is the same answer. My next question to you is, how is a number story different than other stories? Hmm, let's think about that for just a moment. Number stories include both words and numbers. Number stories also end with a question, big question mark, or something that you need to figure out. So with a normal story that we read, like a book, we don't usually have something that we need to figure out at the end. But with a number story, we again see both words and numbers, 
we see a big question mark at the end or something that we need to figure out. Boys and girls, today you are going to write your very own number story and you're going to use it to think more about the turnaround rule that we were just talking about. Remember those eight goldfish and the two dogs? Well, we're going to try to write number stories very similar to that, and we're going to think about how we can use that with the turnaround rule. What I would like you to do now is to get your spiral bound notebook out, the one that's got all of the paper inside, and I would like you to open it up to a blank piece. I would then like you to make up a very simple subtraction number story. I know we were just talking about an addition number story, but this time I would like you to make up your own very simple subtraction story. As soon as you write your simple subtraction story in your journal, you are going to make a picture, you're gonna draw a picture that matches your story. So whatever you are writing about, make sure that you have a picture that goes along with your story. After you write your story and draw your picture, don't forget to include a number model, a number model. Remember a number model is like a number sentence. So make sure that you have a number sentence. If I go back to my goldfish and dog story, my number model would be eight plus two equals 10. So make sure that with your subtraction story, you make a number model. Are you going to use a plus sign? Probably not. This is a subtraction story. So we are using our brains and thinking in a different way today. In your number story that you make up, your subtraction number story, I would like you to not go past the number 20. So you can use numbers zero through 20, but let's not go higher than 20 today. Thanks. Go ahead and pause the video now and start working on your simple subtraction number story. When you finish your number story, drawing your picture, and making your number model, please play the video one more time so we can wrap it up. Okay, boys and girls, look at the problem that you just made. I have a question for you. Do you believe that the turnaround rule works with your subtraction number story? Look at it closely. Can you make a turnaround rule with your subtraction number story? Hmm, let's think about that for a minute. I'd like you to use your number model that you came up with or your number story to explain your thinking. Go ahead and write down a sentence or two explaining if the turnaround rule works with your subtraction number story. We will talk more again about this tomorrow. Boys and girls, you did a great job, and I am so proud of all of your hard work. Thank you for sharing your stories. You guys are amazing. See you tomorrow. Bye.